What is going on YouTube? Your boy Caesar here and welcome back to another video on FIFA 18 Ultimate Team. In this episode we're going to be completing the Ander Herrera Footmas SBC and the Andrea Pirlo um, End of an Era SBC as well. So before we get into this guys, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and press the bell so you receive all notifications of when my videos are going up. Uh, I need you to hit that like button for me as well, that'd be very much appreciated and comment down below if you've completed these SBCs and let me know what you think of the players, whether the, the you know the good in game, what you think of the stats. Uh, and if you're looking forward to FIFA 19 as I am. So without further ado guys, let's get it. So we'll start off with Ander Herrera. Um, so as you can see the players are already there. For anyone that's new to this channel, I always have the players ready to go. So there's no messing about uh, trying to find each player. So we need three minimum Spanish players. We need a minimum of two players from the Premier League. We either need a team of the week player or a foot champions player. We need the team to be overall rate, rated of 82 and we need 70 chemistry. So in goal I will be using Jack Butland. Cannot check him unfortunately. Same goes for Van Dijk. Uh, and Gaia, apologies guys. Uh, Chris Smallin, however, uh, you can pick him up for... I mean, obviously guys, you, you, you don't have to copy the team that I'm doing, but this is just kind of like a guideline, just in case you want to use you know, some of the players. You, you can use all the players if you like. That's entirely up to you guys, uh, but it, it's looking like Chris Smolin is going to cost around about 2k. Uh, my team of the week player is Victor Moses. I did buy him for 19k and it looks like he has gone up a little tiny bit. I think 22 is the cheapest I'm seeing. Yeah. Um, then at centre attack I am using Perez uh, but obviously he is untradeable. Then I'm using Campbell in the centre mid spot. He's gonna cost about 1.2 oh there we go 950 900 so that's perfect. Uh, then Arda Churan 1.1 1 1, 950 that's perfect again. Uh, Ginny Van Adam in the cam spot, even though he's a centre mid. Uh, 1.8, 1.9, 1.9, Up top, I am using Ginyak. 1.2, 1.4. Can we get cheaper than 1.2? That doesn't look like so 1.2 for him and then last but not least Castro yeah a thousand I've just seen 1.1 a thousand again so that's okay so we got 73 chemistry we only needed 70 and we got 82 rated team uh, and that is what we needed so our three Spanish players were Castro Perez and Gaia and then our Premier League players were Van Dijk, Butland, Moses, Chris Smolin and Jenny Van Adam. <coughs> so let's submit this guys for our special Footmas version of Ander Herrera. So he's got 75 pace, 77 shooting 85 passing, 85 dribbling, 81 defense, and 80 physicals. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Uh, high, high, weak foot, four stars, six foot. That's very nice. Um, 
stamina is really good, standing tackle is okay, his aggression is good, composure is okay, ball control, his passing is really good, his penalties are okay. Yeah, it's only really his free kick accuracy, his head and accuracy and jumping, that's a little bit poor, but overall that's a really, really nice card, so let's send that to the club. And then let's move forward into the end of the era, Andrio Pelo. I am missing a player. Hmm. Okay. Let's just see if we can fix that, guys. Do we need. Okay. Um, that was easy. <laughs> So we need a player from Milan, a player from Juventus, uh, one Italian player, 83 overall rated and 70 chemistry. So let's start off in goal. We are going to be using Perrin. He's going to cost, wow, quite a bit. Around about 4k, guys. Uh, at the back, we're going to be using De Vrij. Now these are probably more expensive because of the SBC, so if you can hold out uh, a little while, you might be able to get them a tad cheaper. But it's looking like at the moment, the Vrij is going to cost about 5k. Uh, I am using Manolas at left back, even though he's a centre back. Uh, once again guys, he is quite expensive. Um about six six and a half k for him then howard is right center back once the same again guys looking about six six seven k uh, our milan player is going to be abate he is a lot cheaper you can get him for about 1.6 there 1.8 uh, Howard is, is our Juventus player and um, our, our Italian player is Perrin even though we do have a few others uh, Giovinco is going to be in the centre mid spot you can pick him up for 1.3 it's quite cheap 1.5, 1.4 uh, then Eden Dzeko, even though he's a striker, he, it still works with the chemistry. Um, he's, once again, he's quite expensive. I think about 5, 5k. And then Alan, you were just seeing me put into the team. He's going to cost 2.8, I've just seen there. 2.6. Yeah, 2.6 I think. Uh, on the left wing spot, we're going to be using Mike on. 1,000 for him. Can we get cheaper than that? 800. Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, and then Eddie up top, but he is untradeable. And then same goes for Tony Cruz. Uh, he's going in the right wing spot, even though he's a centre mid. But because he's 90 rated, it boosts that rating right up. And... Even though you're going to think I'm stupid for putting them in. Um, I do understand that, but I'm never going to use them, guys. So I might as well use them for something worthwhile. Um, so that's the reason behind that. So we got 75 chemistry. We only needed 70, and we got the 83 rated team that we needed. We had uh, a few Italian players in there, in Ede, Giovinco. Abate and Perrin and then our Juventus player was Howardes and our Milan player was Abate so let's submit that guys for the end of an era version of Andrea Pirlo let's have a look at his 78 pace, 80 shooting, 99 passing that, what more could you ask for 89 dribbling, 73 defence and 70 physicals. 
Let's have a quick look at his in games. Oh, his work rate low, low. Um, it's just a bit of a problem. Weak foot is four stars, so that's all. That was very nice. Um, so his stamina, obviously, as you'd expect, is quite on quite on the low side. So you could probably only use him for one half. Um, his ball control is. And his ball control, his composure, his passing, free kicks, crossing, vision, penalties, shot power, they're all as you'd expect with a player like Andrew Pirlo. Um, it's just, what can you say about that? Perfect, but you probably will only be able to use that for one half. So that's very nice. Let's put him into the club. And... That will be it for today's video guys, thanks for tuning in, um, if you've liked the video, well then like the video please, we very much appreciate it, um, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already, and leave a comment in the section down below, let me know if you've used these players in game, what you think, and I will catch you guys in the next one, peace out.